Los Capri friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm very very excited because I'm gonna share with you an incredible unboxing. Um, I've just received my design team goodie, goodies package from Artemio. Artemio is a European company. Uh, it's, it's headquarter is in Belgium and they they produce and sell um, papers and scrapbooking supplies, stationery and supplies for crafting in general and they are amazing. I've just started a collaboration with them so I'm the design team and they sent me this uh, quite a heavy package of goodies uh, so that I can create with them in the next few weeks. So as you can see I didn't even open it uh, first of all because I just got back from work and second because I wanted to pop it here on camera so that it's a real unboxing. So I hope you are excited as much as I am and okay let's jump in and open this box. Dun, dun, dun. Voila. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll remove. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I will move the box out of the way so that I can show you everything. Okay, so let's start from paper, of course. We have here, first of all, let's see, yes, Oi, I'm already melting stuff, okay, so, oof, look at this, oh my god, this is one of the mm, newest collection that Artemio uh, presented uh, lately for the autumn uh, winter 2022. And uh, I have to say that it's amazing. I saw the the advertisement, the previews, and it's fantastic. Look at the at the palette and the and the artwork. But I'm gonna show it in detail. So, so this is the 12 by 12 um, packet, and it's 60 papers. So it two times 30. So I guess there are 30 different designs. And you have two of each. So let's go open it. Oh god, it's super heavy. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so, 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 so. Chan chan. <gasps> Look at this watercolor fox. It's amazing. Wow. So these are single sided and are middle weight, uh, I would say, um, cardstock. Not very, not very thick, but not very flimsy either. Wow, wow, love it. I move it a little bit up. Okay, so now we have again the same beautiful fox with all these leaves. Look at this. this. This all, I love it. Wow, this looks like one of those pages of the of the watercolor books. So you are supposed to copy, you know, <laughs> if you're good enough. I'm sure this is uh, basically cut apart. I'm gonna uh, fussy cut all of them and use uh, to tuck in uh, in the project. <gasps> it's beautiful. Okay, this is a solid, very nice orange brownish color. Mmm, that's nice. It's um, what's the name of this? They are not just ducks. They have a name that I'm not remembering now. <laughs> Sorry. And you certainly you know because you know I'm not a native speaker. I'm I'm sure that many of you are are already telling me this is the word. This is what it. Feel free 
to write in the comments the, the name of this uh, of this bird. So anyway, beautiful. This also could be fussy cut out and used as uh, um, embellishments. Wow, this is another beautiful page for a background. For, I mean, it's a perfect background for a layout. Love, love, love. Okay, another solid. This is um, a more vivid orange. I love it. A reef of What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, feathers. A reef of feathers. That's great. And these are the birds that I have no idea how to call in English. I should have studied before, right? But I wanted to open it uh, in, on camera so I couldn't prepare myself <laughs> with these uh, zoological words. Anyway, very nice. It's also perfect background. Ah, look, we have the same bird with all the leaves in a circle all around. That's fun. Very fun. And all the leaves. This also could be a background, of course. Or you can use a strip of fascicato below there. Sure, I think I'll do that. Oh, here it comes. The the cut part, let's say, page to cut all the leaves and use as embellishments. Very nice. Another beautiful solid. This is really a uh, reddish orange. It's even a little peach. It's stunning. I love this. Ooh! Okay, this is my favorite page up to now. The reef is fantastic and even though like that it's open it's not a complete reef, more original. And then come on the squirrels. He is fantastic. I love it. So cute. Look. Look how cute. I think I'm I'm dropping things up there on my desk anyway. Oh look, all the little squirrels. Ah, this also can fussy cut all of them. I have, I have mm, 30 little squirrels. Oh, another beautiful watercolor artwork. This the the deer, the Bambi deer. <laughs> you know, and all the little leaves. It's so so. Well, this basically you can frame it and it's already ready for you. <gasps> wow, another another reef. Wow, it's really, really lovely. Yeah. Okay, oh, we have mushrooms, different kind of mushrooms. These are the bad one. If you eat this, you will die. <laughs> okay, very, very nice. Very autumnal, of course. Oh, another reef. I see that they put in a lot of reefs. And here we have both leaves and feathers. That's clever. I love it. Oh, that's amazing. I really love this beautiful frame. Even though, you know, this is too much already for me. I mean, I would like to do it myself. To create all this, probably I will do it. Like fuzzy cutting all the leaves and creating a different layers the way I mean, I have an idea. Anyway, so another solid, a green, a very nice piece of again, maybe. Don't know, not very good at discovering colors. Ooh, I, I love this. Just not. And also acorn. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I really like this light green and this pea green. It's beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Okay, a huge leaf. 
So this also could be a perfect background, you know. Love it. More leaves, a lot of leaves. And these are uh, this thing that flies with the seed inside. It's also cool, that flies in a circular way. Ooh, lots of leaves, you see? I can fussy cut all these leaves and create myself uh, that frame. More leaves and feathers if you don't have enough. Wow, I love this palette, this color. I'm not a super fan of autumn, I prefer summer ever. I would live in a, in a place where there's only spring and summer, but I love fall colors. That's beautiful. This is the most beautiful tone of red. It's a, a peach red, let's say a red with a little bit of pink, so it's very intense. I will move this out of the way, sorry. So it's marvelous. Ooh, a big pumpkin, a big watercolor pumpkin. Isn't this cute? I love it. What else? Oof. This is marvelous. This is my I want to cut it out and pop on some foam to give it some dim dimension. It's beautiful, beautiful. Of course, this is a very good, uh, even though it's not super, super thick, but it's still thick enough to be a very good background. So if you don't like some of it, which I don't understand why, but maybe since there are 60 pages, there are, there are positions, there are many, you can use the back as a white background. Perfect. This is another beautiful coral. This is, um, how to call this? It's um, a little darker than marigold, but it's not really, I don't know. It's a very intense dark yellow, mustardy yellow. Yeah, mustardy orange yellow. Beautiful. The leaf, very nice. Love it. And we start again. Wow, it's really a lot. It's a lot. You can do tons of projects with this paper pad. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Now, from this second collection, I think we have lots of other stuff. So, let's move it. First of all, Chum chum! Specialty papers! Okay, so I'll move this on the side for a moment. Let's see. These are um, vellum. Vellum 12 by 12 sheets. Uh, give me a little vellum. Look. Oh, first of all, the quality is very good of the value. And look. Oh, God. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Then, more leaves. A little bitty one. Imagine if I cut it all of this. That would be amazing. It would take me two days, probably. Or 20 years, but anyway, it's beautiful. Then they are stuck together. Feathers again, you can use it as this or part of it or just fast to cut. So you have different texture. I really love it. And finally, this isn't this amazing. This is definitely asking to be fussy cut. I love it. I love it. Okay, so so these are the values. And let's see, let's see what else. I have a lot of things, a lot of things. This is going to be a very long video, I assume, maybe. 
go a little bit faster, what you say. Okay, I don't know what to take next. The next, the next. Okay, let's go with the, I know, I saw the die cuts. Yes, here they are. One and two. So, these are regular die cuts with all the shapes and and frames and no frames let's say uh, labels and things like cards they are little cards yeah but I show them the word and then we have the blue ones so you say why should I pass the card to all of them if I ever really this oh, you never know okay so a lot a lot so let's check the card by the way um, Artemio is uh, in uh, Belgium but they, they are French in the sense no sorry they speak French and so the, the sentiments are in French écoute ton coeur it means uh, uh, listen to your heart I don't think I can show and translate all of them because it will take too much but anyway Les plaisirs se ramassent, les joies se cueillent et le bonheur se cultive. Pour pouvoir contempler un arc-en-ciel, il faut d'abord endurer la pluie. Ah, this is super. This is super nice. It says that if you if you want a rainbow, you first need to make it through the rain. Let's say so. Really beautiful. You see, so there are lots of uh, inspiring sentences and sentiment. Donc, uh, ah, but wait, 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 wait. That now I'm noticing these have foiling. You see, this is a very dark uh, copper, reddish copper foiling. I don't know if the camera is picking up. Let's see, maybe okay. So you see, it's amazing. Okay, so we have a few cards. Wow, this is beautiful. So, cards, 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 or little cards. This I like two by two, and these are like uh, no, these are not even two by two, they are smaller, or I don't know. Yeah, two by two. This two by three, roughly, a little bit less. Anyway, then we have a, a text again with sentiments and the, the beautiful watercoloring. <gasps> Look, these are marvelous. Mm -hmm. I love squirrels. This is, let's see, isn't this the cutest? I'm not sure that it's focusing. Okay, now, cha -cha. Uh, there, there was another one before, below, I mean. Okay, so, uh, then we have this circle, no. again, with the sentences, oval shapes, little banner, fish tail banner, and now I think oh, another circle. Now we have lots and lots of icons or shapes. Ooh, beautiful pumpkin. Oh, the deer. Isn't yeah, this? I'm not sure. It's focusing. Why you don't want to focus? I don't know. Anyway, that's beautiful. My friend, the squirrel. The duck, leaves, mushrooms, acorn, chestnuts, this bird, more mushrooms, more fish banner, fish tail banner. Oh, beautiful leaves, look at them. Look at them. I love them. Uh, 
um, how to frame it. Okay, so fox here. It's super cute. More further, I'm moving everything around. Leaves, mushrooms. I don't know where to put things because it's all full already. You see, it's jam packed. Oh my god, it is flying. Love it. Cute. We didn't see pure in the in the papers, but they are here. Apple. Uh, uh. It looks like a pink lady apple. Uh, my favorite apples are pink ladies. And yeah, more leaves, uh, more mushrooms, uh, cones, and, uh, and stuff. Okay. Oh, it's a lot, isn't this beautiful? Okay, so let's move to the vellum ones. And uh, I'm already talking a lot. So, okay. If we go there, then I will put it in the package. Or in the... Uh, let's open this. Okay. Ah, here are the pieces. Let's have a look. I'll try to be faster. You already hate me. Okay, so circle, circle, circle. So we'll do the beautiful artworks, artwork, Why? I'm losing them. We have also frames and pumpkins, ripples. I love this. My beloved squirrel, fox, birds, apples, tons of leaves, leaves, they are they are difficult to pick up. Oh. Feathers. My Bambi. Mushroom. Yes, mushrooms. But I wanted to say leaves. Duck. Echo. And what not? Oh my god. Having this amazing. I'm out of. Out. Okay, I'm terrible at doing this. I want to be fast, but I'm not at all. But anyway, we'll look at it. Okay, so we have to move a little bit. I'll move up this and then I'll come back with it. Okay, so oh my god, guys, there's so much stuff here you cannot believe. Okay, let's continue with the fourth the Folly Love collection. So let's see. First of all, these two. These are puffy, puffy stickers. Not those really squishy, but nice. Anyway, let's see the texture. Oh yes, they are very soft. They are very soft and beautiful. One with all the fruits and mushrooms and the leaves. Beautiful. Then these are, I believe, stickers. Yes, they are stickers with gold foil. No gold, really, it's more copper foil. And with uh, sentiments. Isn't this beautiful? I know there's a bit of reflection, but okay, the glow. Then, look at this, guys. Look at this. These are paper leaves. You know the beautiful cards of the collection. They are super soft. They look almost like like cloth. It's a very nice texture, textured paper. Super soft, super nice. So you have all kind of leaves, different colors. <gasps> this for layering are fantastic even for some actually they would be perfect for some um, 
let's see, off the page project, some, I don't know, some, some crafting project that is not scabooking, you know, <laughs> as you know, it's good for whatever, ah, they are beautiful, they are beautiful, these are the big one, and then we have this, the smaller ones, I'll try to pick them up and not losing them, I already dumping them, look at this in colors no there's not yellow here there's a little bit of a darker brown red white and green are oh, these beautiful yeah they are i can tell you okay so mm, just a second i take them away i put them away and i come back with something else Okay, so I believe this is the last piece of the Fall in Love collection, but uh, it, there's plenty of other stuff that I have to show you. So it's uh, anyway, um, these are uh, good veneer shapes. They are leaves, of course. Let's have a look. Um, okay, so. Look, they are beautiful because they are not just shape, but there's also the, the, the drawing. So you can paint them and you have really the the, the, the drawing of a, of a leaf, the structure, so they could look much more realistic. Wow, that's amazing. And there's a lot, look at this, all the details of the leaves. And uh, and it's very soft, uh, the quality. I like the quality. Wow, these are marvelous. I will paint them, I will have fun. This is the last piece of the Folly Love collection that I have, but there's plenty of other things in the catalog of, the, of Artemio. So I will uh, put them back to in the, in the bag and go on with the next collection. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so I had a quick look at all the stuff that I still have to show you. Look, it's a lot. And I think that I have to divide this into different videos because otherwise it will be it would be the uh, the longest um, unboxing whole videos of the history of Kabuki, maybe. So I'll show you a couple of more things that are here and then I'll start over with the second vi uh, video. Okay, so let's come to this. Aren't these amazing? So cool. I I have the, the the dice you know for the machine for the manual machine but I'm too lazy uh, so when it comes to circle I would say use just the circle the small circle punch I have a um, one inch and a half inch I think I don't even remember <laughs> um, and then if I want bigger um, bigger circle I trace a circle with something, for example, with a low, uh, roll of uh, tape and then I uh, fussy cut it and of course it's not precise. Anyway, um, I've always wanted to have the bigger, uh, the bigger punches and now I have. I have the two inches and the three inches which, by the way, look at this, how big this is. I want to open just this one so I can show you how big it is and use it. Oh my God, and it's also beautiful. Wow, I want to, to put it on the shelf and show it. Okay, let's try it in just one second. Of course, I don't have a piece of paper that I can cut just in this moment. 
because of course this is so big that it's not big enough this piece of paper I have. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. And voila! Wow! I love it! I love it! Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, sorry. I'm so, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have this marvelous, beautiful object. I mean, then I have this which is a, a glue stick or a glue pen, you know, for details when you want to, to attach little things and you, and you don't know how to do with a normal glue. Okay, this I suppose I have to. Okay, I'll work it out anyway. Here it is. This is by. It's thick, but it's Artemio as well, I believe. And finally, finally for this, for this video, ta-da! A pack of enamel tops. Enamel tops. A packet of enamel tops. Oh my god, I always get confused with this word. I don't remember how to pronounce it. <sighs> okay, you have to be patient with me. Clearly, I'm not native. Clearly, I'm Italian. Come on, you can hear, no? So, bear with me. Okay, so, I think it's beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this color is, wow. The blues, I love blue. This, my favorite, and these blues are ah, marvelous. Okay, anyway, so, this is the first part of my whole uh, unboxing, let's say, of my design team uh, box for uh, the next few weeks with Arte Bion. So, um, I remind you, uh, I'm starting this collaboration with Arte Bion in the sense that I'm their design team. So, all these beautiful things that you saw, all no? these beautiful things that you know, they will finish in some project that I will share uh, on my uh, Instagram channel, Virginia Grego underscore Skabukin and on my YouTube channel and the other social. Anyway, this is part one. Go on and watch part two that I'm going to record now, of course. Okay, thank you for passing by. Uh, if you liked this video, please uh, like and subscribe, please. And also, uh, please leave me a comment. I, I really like the interaction. I want to, to know what you think about this collection. If you know this company, if you use them, I know it, I've used it and I liked it. Uh, that's why I'm really happy to be uh, in their design team and as you can see the artwork is fantastic so okay thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video bye bye